Hello everybody and welcome back to FIFA 22 where we're going to be taking on Harrogate Town as we head into deadline day in the January transfer window. Not too much to report at the moment. I've got a very needy dog here. So come on. Here he is. We know that you all love him on the channel. Rude is here. Everyone say hello to Rude in the comments. He'd love to read it. He'd also love it if you hit that subscribe button and <laughs> left a like on the video as he just gets comfy. Um, I'm going to have to put you down when we start playing, mate, because you, I can't play with you on my lap, I don't think. Well, he is still on my lap, just under out of the way. But you can see there are some uh, some deals have been happening. In the transfer window at the moment. The top deals is Kunde has gone to PSG. Thomas Muller has signed for Man United for £55 million, which is an odd one. And Ginter has signed for Severe for £53.3 million. Um, our deals haven't been anywhere near as exciting as that. We've brought in two new players on loan. And where are they? One of them is Abby, uh, centre-back on loan from Reading. A very quick centre-back. Pretty good, actually. Uh, 58 overall doesn't mean he's... Not that good enough to get into our first team, but he's uh, already made his debut. He was very good, came in and did uh, reasonably well, actually. Yeah, it was, it was good to have in there. Uh, and we brought in Warman as well on loan from Cambridge United, I think it is. Uh, 53 rated striker again, just a little bit of something different. I wanted to get a, another striker in just in case we have to change formation or adapt. Um, but that's it. That's it, really. Nothing else to report in terms of ins or outs from us. The results have been, again, pretty good. If we have a quick look back at transfer history, uh, we can just see all the other deals that are going through. Not too much to talk about. If we go to our club, um, Alan has left where well, he's going to be leaving to join Sutton United at the end of his contract. We bought Garcia in on loan, obviously. Uh, Keenan has moved. You probably don't even know who he is. He's moved to Exeter City for 90k. Uh, Warman came in on loan from Cambridge United. Reading, Abbey, um, and Allen has moved on a free. So one out, two in, one to leave in the summer at the end of his contract. Not too bad at all. We find ourselves, in terms of league position, in 16th, 28 games played, 35 points. Um, we're doing pretty well, to be honest. It's now we're at the sort of halfway point of the season, maybe just a bit further through the halfway point. We are climbing the table. We're only three points off 12th, five points off 9th. The playoffs start in 7th. Harrogate Town currently occupy 7th place, and we play them today. 41 points. So we are only, what, six points off the playoffs right now. It's been quite the turnaround, quite the comeback. Uh, there's been a few comments asking what uh, level uh, difficulty are we playing on and stuff like that. So just to show you in here is at the moment on world class, six minute halves on world class. Um, and then I've got some of the custom sliders that you can find on websites and stuff like that. And then I've tweaked them just to make it so it feels a bit more realistic in terms of uh, ball control and shots and stuff like that. So yes, let's get into this game while Rude is still on my lap, making it quite awkward to hold the controller. But uh, I'll sort out the team and we'll be back for kickoff. Hello, everybody. 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 <laughs> Hello, everybody. I need to make it two separate words. We are at the Harchester United Football Club Stadium. Uh, yeah, the temporary home until we get up the divisions to get to the Dragon's Lair, our 30,000 seater stadium, which is currently sitting abandoned in the Midlands, waiting for Harchester United to go back and be ready to play there. But yeah, the two teams are here. Only one change in the lineup to normal, um, and that is Herbert comes in at centre back as uh, the really good centre back whose name I can't remember completely escapes me at the moment. He drops to the bench because he's uh, just a little bit unfit. But there you go. There's the lineup. Ferreira, that's his name. He drops to the bench. But uh, Hargreaves up top. Kuhn and Jensen on either side, Charles Cook in behind, Valicardi and Marin in the middle, Miles on the left, Coles and Herbert at the back, and Edvardson on the right back position, Marinovic in goal. There are a few club legends starting to form here, Kuhn, Marinovic, uh, Charles Cook to an extent is starting to play really well as well, get a couple of goals, so I'm hoping that we can do it. We haven't seen the Harrogate Town lineup yet, but they're high flying in seventh, the position we want to hunt down. And this is the uh, team that's got them there so far. Cracknell in goal. Burrell, Smith, Mugdale and Page at the back. Kerry, Fallowfield and Falkingham I think are going to be in midfield. Yes, they are. With Thompson on the left. Kerry on the right. Muldoon up front with Martin as well. So it should be uh, a very good game. Let's get straight into it as the referee is wearing green like a sensible referee should when a team plays in purple. And uh, Harrogate Town lining up in there. Away kit of all blue, which is uh, quite interesting to see. I'm not sure why they wouldn't wear their home kit of yellow and black, but or yellow, white and black. But uh, they obviously found it 
Maybe it was a commercial aspect. They had to play in their away kit. As, uh, well, they are chucking a few men forward here because this is the left back to the left winger, Thompson, who is uh, tackled. Well, he's not tackled. He's held up. That's going to bounce all the way through. Hargreaves couldn't pounce on it. Falkingham is there. That's a good ball. Muldoon early shot over the bar. But Harrogate down. Showing, showing they're here to play. They really are. Good ball in. Good little couple of touches. And then he went for power. Put it over the bar. Miles has done uh, well here on the left-hand side. He's picked out Kuhn, who stayed on side. Ball in. Hargreaves with the header. Chucked himself at it. Not the best contact, though, from the striker. And uh, it just goes sailing past the post. But a good attack from Hartshire United. Yeah, the, the header well off target. Terrible header, to be honest, from Hargreaves. But... You know, uh, Carl Fletcher will be, he'll be, he'll be happy with, we're showing some intent. We're showing some intent as uh, it's going to be a goal kick to Harrogate Town. He goes very, very long with it. Herbert is tall and uh, is very good in the air. Wins that one well. Thompson, the player to watch for Harrogate Town in this game. And he's actually got the ball up to Martin at the moment. Martin up against Coles. That's not a good cross. Goal kick to Hartchester United. Marin with the ball into Charles Cook over to... Well, Valicardi, who's got some time and space here. He went for an effort from range. It was blocked. Miles puts it back out to Kuhn again. Dinks that one in. Charles Cook on the volley. Oh, it's not hit very well, and the keeper's touched it onto the bar. I think the bad connection and the bad shot on his weak foot actually fooled the goalkeeper a little bit. It was a good cross in from Kuhn. Terrible connection. He's shinned it. Got a looping sort of effort on it. Keeper just about touches it onto the bar, and over it goes. And we get a corner. And uh, what can we work from in here is we're going to go short. Charles Cook's going to put this one short into Jensen. Onto his left foot. Towards the back post and Hargreaves is looking for it. Couldn't quite get there. Marin brings it down well. And that's a, a good run there from the right back, Edvardson, who's trying to get into an attacking position but is tackled. And Martin can bring this one away for Harrogate Town. You'd like to feel the danger's probably over there for Harrogate Town. They've, they've done well to defend that. The short corner looked like it was stunning off the training ground but didn't work. And, uh, yeah, Harrogate Town can... Hold on, and here is the danger man, Thompson, on the left-hand side. Martin, Page, up to Thompson again. Tackled easily by Herbert, though, and Harchester United can just hold on. Kuhn on the left-hand side into Charles Cook, who's starting to find a bit of uh, space and joy, and he tries to curl one. Good save from Cracknell. He's trying to give the goalkeeper the eyes. Think he's going far post. Try and put it near post. And uh, Charles Cook, yeah, good little bend on that. Nutmegged one, went over another defender. Keeper reacts well to touch that one behind. Good save. So another corner to uh, Hartchester United. Another short runner, but we're going to ignore him this time because then it goes towards Hargreaves. It's headed away. And, uh, well, Herbert, the centre-back's there to bring it down. And he's still got the ball in the area. Going to lay this one off. Charles Cook again has another shot from range. Surely Herbert was offside. Referee says play on. And again, Harrogate Town get it away. Jensen on the right, lays that one into Hargreaves, and Charles Cook has got plenty of space to run into here. Charles Cook, left-footed drive, oh, probably should have laid Kuhn in, but I had to go for it, I feel left-footed, he's just cut across it ever so slightly, and it goes past the post, unlucky, a good, a good attack from Hartford United, finding our rhythm in this game. Kuhn again, picking up some space on the left-hand side, trying to trick his way around the defender, oh, he nearly pulled off a Cruyff turn. To get away from him, but not quite. As uh, That's an easy header there. And Hargreaves was making a run. Jensen's pass was a little bit poor. Hargreaves from outside the area. Again, not a good shot. Easy for Cracknell to uh, to make that save. As though Page had a terrible touch there. Hargreaves picks it up. As Jensen stayed on side, doesn't matter because the ball didn't get through to him. And Harrogate started the game very well. Uh, they've just seemed to have faded off a little bit. Passes aren't really connecting. Harchester United are getting all the chances as Charles Cook... Comes forward again. Kuhn looks back to Charles Cook, but that was easy for McArdle to intercept. And yeah, you've got to feel it's going to be one one team's going to take one chance, and that could be the deciding factor in this one. As Martin comes forward up against Herbert, just gets round him, and Martin forced wide, and Herbert has used his body really well to get in the way there. And Hargreaves can flick that one on to Kuhn. Can't win the ball though. Burrell. Comes forward with it, and Kerry tries to use his pace. Miles tracks him well. Ball in. Herbert's underneath it again. Great header away. Ten minutes until half-time. The game's turning into a bit more of a frantic game. It's it's toing and froing with who's on top, and at the moment, it's Harriet Town as that one goes in. Martin and Kerry's offside. Edvardson on it again on the right-hand side. A lot of coming, a lot of dangers coming from us there as Hargreaves just absolutely terrible first touch. And that is where the sliders are really, really good. Oh, that's a nice little pick-up there from Charles Cook, although he's... Had a terrible touch as well. Move it along. Out to Kuhn on the left. What have you got, Kuhn? Oh, a lovely little bit of a jink to get away. No one in the box, though. Can he cut this one back? He's not even won the corner. Smith has kept it in. Unbelievable scenes from Smith. Oh, that's a good pick out from 
Valicardi, and Valicardi can hit Jensen, and Jensen's going to... Oh, yeah. He's going to try and hit one on his left foot, but look how bad that went. Didn't even make it for a throw. Falkingham up to Muldoon, tries to put it in filter. Martin, well, back to Martin and Muldoon, playing their own little game here. Back to Muldoon again, he gets a shot off. What a save from Marinovic. Oh, my word. It's, it's, it's a close game, this. Just before half-time, Thompson with the corner for Harrogate Town. And it goes towards the near post, and I think that's going to be another one. I think it is, yep. And uh, you can see there, the striker or the attacker thought he was had a good opportunity there. This one's much deeper towards the back post. Martin can't get his header down on target. That is probably going to be half-time as soon as we take this goal kick, because the two minutes are up. And uh, let's see. There we go. Half-time. Nil-nil. An entertaining game. End-to-end. -end. Let's see how the second half unfolds. So no changes so far for the second half. Both teams coming out with the same 11 players on the pitch. And uh, I don't know. I I've got faith that these guys can do it. We just need to make sure it happens. Oh, Miles, that's a dreadful pass. I was going for the crossfield. Big pass. And Herbert, luckily, has got a good foot in to win that one back. And Miles will have to... Learn his lesson there, because that crossfield pass was incredibly poor. Edvardsson, up it goes towards Jensen. He's a nice little tricky bugger on the ball. Marin can give it back to Edvardsson. Edvardsson tries to cross it in. Hargreaves has lost his man. Oh, I don't think he got a touch on it. I think it's just hit the side netting. Oh, I don't know. It's, it's unlucky. Keeper was fooled by the little run, though, by Hargreaves. Still nil-nil. Fallowfield gives the ball out to the right-hand side. Edvardsson read that really, really well. And uh, Marinovic can clear this one away into Miles. Valakari goes up towards Hargreaves, who's got runners either side. And he goes for Charles Cook. Gives it back into Hargreaves. Hargreaves shoots top corner. What a goal from Hargreaves. And that's 1-0 Harchester United. And he's picked the ball up. He wants more. He wants more than just one goal today. What an attack that was. All the way from the back. It came from Ed Vance and intercepting it at right back. All the way from the keeper. A lovely 1-2 between Charles Cook and Hargreaves. Right-footed drive into that top kick, top corner. Keeper's got no chance. And that is 1-0 ha um, Har Harchester. Not Harrogate. Too many teams beginning with H. It's 1-0 to Harchester United. And, uh, well, climbing up the table. Is there going to be a cheeky little promotion push this season? It's asking a lot. Let's Let's see. Hopefully. Kuhn on the ball in a central midfield position. and It's just over hit that pass, although Marin's made the most of it. And Marin's got... Oh, he's, I was trying to find Charles Cook on the edge, and it wasn't a good ball in. As uh, Muldoon looks up towards Martin, can bring that one down. A combination of Miles and Coles win the ball back there. Ed Vardson into Marin. Great first touch to get him away from his man. Charles Cook. I was trying to just do a, a little dinked pass through to Hargreaves, and it got intercepted. But Harchester United absolutely cooking on gas in the second half of this season. As Muldoon picks out Martin. Martin goes over the top looking towards Kerry. Kerry dinks it. Oh, that's a lovely ball to the back post. And Tom Oh, Muldoon's got his shot all wrong. All wrong. So substitution then both teams. Marin off. McNally on for us. Club captain uh, coming back from injury. Getting a few appearances in the here and there. We've turned down a couple of bids for him actually in the summer. We had a bid of around about 400k uh, we turned down for him. I want at least half a million for him. According to he's our old uh, club captain and a very good central midfielder as well. And I didn't see who Harrogate Town actually bought on or off because I was too busy nattering about McNally. But uh, that's a poor pass. That's a terrible clearance from Herbert as well. But McNally, there he is. He's uh, He's got a bit to prove, actually. We've bought in a number of central midfielders and he has dropped down the pecking order. Valicardi and Marin doing a very good job as the current central midfield partnership. And here is Valicardi. Puts that one into Hargreaves. Gets it back to Valicardi, the, the Finnish central midfielder. He's got a couple of caps for Finland now as well. Lays that one back to the edge of the air. It's McNally who's there. The first touch was bad. I was trying to set myself up for a powerful effort. Although Charles Cook is on the edge here. And that's deflected easily through to Cracknell. 65 minutes gone. 1-0. Harchester United still is. Well, Valakari's had a very easy interception there. Here is McNally. Can he just squeeze it through the gap? No, it's blocked off. Goes back to Charles Cook. Tries to get a shot off. Good save from Cracknell again. Coon on the left-hand side. Charles Cook making a great run through the middle. Can he? Oh, he just couldn't get the pass off again. And Diamond is going to bring this one away. Neil Diamond, maybe? Maybe a relation to Neil Diamond. Who knows? As uh, Lowe's long. And, well, Coles wins the header. But now he's out of position. And this could cause a bit of trouble here for Harchester United. It's only a 1-0 lead. 20 minutes to go. Diamond ball to the back post. And it's over here. And uh, luckily for Ed Vardson, because he was a bit out of position. 
and he's recovered well. Muldoon up to Martin, a good first touch, but again, just robbed at the last minute. The central midfielder is doing a very good job for Harchester in this game. McNally comes forward with it, out to Jensen. Jensen onto Hargreaves, and it's just, yeah, that little touch. Hargreaves, I think, might be getting a bit tired. He is the, uh, the difference maker in this game so far with the, the goal early on in this second half, and that's going to fall to Fallowfield. That's a good ball through, and that is 1-1. And Muldoon punishes us for wasting opportunities. It's a lovely finish from the striker. 1-1 here at the uh, HUFC Stadium in Harrogate Town. Loving life. So double substitution then. Hargreaves off. Garcia on. And Briggs on to replace Jensen on the right-hand side. Going for a bit more pace uh, in the front line to try and crack through this Harrogate game Town team. That's the, pro the problem with Garcia. He's absolutely dreadful unless it's pace. And he's given the ball away straight away. And uh, he's actually given Harrogate Town... A chance to attack as Thompson now finds himself on this right-hand side. He started the game on the left and uh, he's moved over to the right. So a little tactical tweak. There is Diamond's in. I think he's offside. But Marinovic with a fantastic save. Diamond didn't know about it. Marinovic didn't know. But uh, I think we're just going to see here. Yeah. Oh, wow. That is very, very close. Just offside. Marinovic with a top save in there. And, uh, well, Harrogate Town looking to try and nick this now. As I think that's Martin coming off to be replaced by Armstrong. Edvardson picks out McNally. He's oh, it's such a bad pass. McNally, I've been bigging you up in this game when you've come on. And, you know, maybe that 400 grand is uh, looking a little bit more realistic for your price because that pass was dreadful, man. Marinovic nearly misjudges the bounce. Miles into Charles Cook. Valcardi into Garcia. Garcia can just lay this one off looking for Briggs, who does just about get there first. Briggs into Charles Cook. Back to Briggs. Valakari trying to not rush anything. Take our time. Move Harrogate Town around. Valakari picks out a lovely ball into space for McNally who shoots. It's a good save from uh, Cracknell in goal. Man, we've got about a minute and a half left. I don't know what we can really do here to try and get this breakthrough. All subs used. Edvardson, left-footed cross. In it goes. Coles is there trying to get his head on it. Valakari will win the battle for that ball. McNally's there again. Tries to feed it back through to... Valakari finds himself in some space. Valakari's done really well. Shoots it in. Oh, the keeper's been beaten by the power. And Valakari may have just won it for Harchester United right at the end. I took my time. Got it onto his favoured left foot. We're starting to learn the players, which means we know their favourite feet and how they like to run and dribble with the ball and shoot. And the power on that just beat the keeper at the near post. The Harchester United fans go crazy in the stands. As Valakari here onto that left foot and I just drilled it hard at the near post. And the keeper was beaten. His reflexes were terrible. And that pure power, great finish. Great finish. 2-1 with a matter of minutes to go. Not even that, seconds. And that is the full-time whistle straight from kickoff. We get the win. We're coming for you, playoffs. We are coming for the playoff positions. I'm very excited by it. A great game, that. All we've got left now, deadline day. So into the post-match press conference we go, and your boys left it late, didn't they? What were you thinking so close to the end? Um, they keep going to the very last minute. I think we said the same thing last week as well. But yeah, up against Harrogate Town again, your team were able to turn things around pretty spectacularly. You really turned them around. How? Uh, we were better prepared. We pride ourselves on our resilience. I like that answer. Very much like that answer. And the final question then. Did you ever feel like this wasn't going to be your day? Um, we knew we'd come under pressure. We defended well. We got the goal. Maybe we could have had more though. Yeah, I think we should have taken our chances a bit more really. We did win it, but... Yeah, we could have been out of sight. So into deadline day we go then. Ten hours left. And uh, we do have something in the office. We've got a final scout report from Mark Coyle. Um, Mark Coyle, CDM from St. Pat's. Doesn't look too bad, actually. Good aggression. Good stamina, which is great for a central midfielder. Technically, he's a little bit poor. Um, yeah, not too bad. Not too bad at all. 62 overall, so it'd probably it, it'd be similar to what we've already got. This is the problem. We've not got too many players that we could probably bring in that actually improve our squad at the moment. If you look at that, we've got a, a midfield there of 65 and 65 overall rated. I think left winger and right winger we could definitely improve, but given the fact they're youngsters, I think we need to stick with them a little bit. I think fullbacks, a left back, I think we do need another left back to come in and help us out. We could potentially go and see who's been found on uh, scout reports in terms of left backs. 
Right back, centre back. Left wing back, Joel Baggan is there. Centre back, left back, Owen Gallagher from Crawley Town. Yeah, not too much. I don't know if we've got any. Uh, if we go to our global transfer network, let's go to instructions, look at. Oh, so I know people said about the contract remaining stuff, zero to one year. I can't figure out how to. So if I go, he's, he's on. He's on the short list. Uh, I think so. Jay Stansfield is too young. I think they've got to be. For example, right? If I looked at Billy King and went shortlist and viewing transfer hub. Oh, I can actually approach to sign him now. I don't have to make the bid. Oh, okay. Well, let's scout him because he might be quite useful. Ah, okay. So it must have updated now. Or they've signed new contracts that I just I can't see at the moment. Can I see if they've signed a new contract somewhere? Because I thought I thought I'd shortlisted a lot of people, which is which were coming up to um, like transfer renewal and stuff, a uh, contract expiry, transfer renewal, can contract expiry. But uh, I didn't have much luck. Liam Delap is something I wouldn't mind bringing in as a striker. I think left back is where we're going to aim though. Let's go and see. Yeah, let's go back into here. Uh, we'll see if we've got any left back. So George Cooper again, left wing back. Have we got any under detailed info? Have I just been like I normally do, just been scouting strikers and attacking players? Glenn Middleton, Vessel, Thomas Asante. Yeah, not really too many there. Festia Baseli would be another one. Luke and Betty we tried to bring in as well. I don't know. Maybe we maybe we leave it and we try and. Just pick people up on free transfers when their contracts expire. I like the squad at the moment. I do think left back is a weak spot. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting. I think we're mainly seeing if we're going to get any offers on our players. I don't think we're looking to really bring too many in. As though Sandoval... I just want to let you know that Sandoval's deal with us is running down. Blasters have approached him with a pre-contact agreement. That's okay. Sandoval's not playing for us at all. Um, we're definitely going to recruit a striker in the summer. But we've got enough in the squad to get us through to the end of the, the, end of the season at the moment. Ah, now this is an interesting one. Terji Edvardsson came through our youth academy. We've been offered 4.05 million. Um, we can't really turn that sort of money down. I know he's our starting right back. He's very good and he's only 17. Sort of feel like that would be stupid if we turned that down. I mean, don't you? I, I can't see your comments, obviously. They think... Oh, our assistant thinks we can get up to 6.2. If they offer us... What am I going to say? I guess over 6 million. I have to accept over 6 million. It's stupid. Um, it would be... It would be a ridiculously good deal if we could get him in. He's clearly our best player. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go cheeky. I mean, we've got a big grin on there. We're going to go 6.5 to start. It's deadline day, so I think we can push them a little bit more. And we're going to say you need to give us 15% of his next fee. And we're going to go with that. Six and a half million. Come on. Come on. Come on, man. Look, you travelled all the way here from Mexico. Huge gap. No point continuing. Good. Get out. Well, if you're not going to pay 6.5 and even try and negotiate, you're never going to pay 6. So I don't mind that. That's a lot of money to turn down. We probably could have strengthened the squad quite, quite healthily with that money coming in. But uh, they don't want to pay the valuation. I don't think we need him in terms of money. No, we're making a profit. It's small, but we're making a profit. So it's all good. It's all good. So as we tick down to one hour left, absolutely nothing has happened. Literally nothing has happened. We've had a couple of bids for Sandoval again that have all broken down. Uh, yeah, that's it really. We had a loan offer for Jensen that I clearly was going to reject. It's been very quiet. It's been very quiet. I, I've gone through the transfer window, um, the... Not the Global Transfer Network. That's not where I wanted to go. Uh, I've been, I'll have been. i show you some players that we were looking at for the um, Transfer Hub. And going through. There was a few people in there we looked at. I've added two left-backs in. Schmelzer. Or oh, three left-backs. Schmelzer clearly doesn't want to move to us because he's at Dortmund. But his contract's expiring. And he may... Uh, he may. Oh, his contract's not expiring. But he's transfer listed. So that we might be able to pick him up cheap as he gets older. Uh, Rodriguez. Um... We can't. Well, I wanted to loan him in, but we can't because he's got two. He's not got a lot less on his contract. Uh, don't know too much about him apart from he's quick. Uh, that's about it. So and Vindgren, we, we well, I made an approach to sign him at the end of his deal, and he turned us down because we offered him a pittance. So 
Yes, we offered him 1,300 as a crucial player. He said no, that was an insult. It all got turned down. So we might go back in for Widgren, but nothing's going to happen on deadline day, it seems. It seems like it's all going to be pretty, pretty rubbish. Um... Our confidence is dropping, even though we're doing better in the league, which I don't quite understand. We have nine players eligible for the youth development long-term um, objective. Brand exposure, we've done, we've completed both of those. Continental success, we don't have. Domestic success, we didn't get past the FA Cup first round. And we are probably going to avoid finishing in the bottom part of League 2, hopefully, which will be good. Uh, and within three seasons in the EFL League 2, fight for promotion. I'm hoping we can do that next season, to be honest. Financially, uh, keep player salary growth under 30%. At the moment, it's 25, so that's fine. And within the same season, sign one crucial player and make a profit of 2.6 million. So we've signed the crucial player. Uh, we just haven't made the profit yet, which is obviously what would have happened if we had sold Ed Varson, but they didn't come back with a good enough deal. So that is going to be deadline day done. And uh, yeah, that is the end of the episode. We'll quickly check what is happening here. So I'm transfer to Kuhn, um, Rochdale made off to loan and then buy Kuhn. Well, no, um, no thanks, because that is not a good offer reject he's not going anywhere unless you pay the money monthly scouting report um oh, i can look through this in a minute oh our scouts have been very busy 78 to 94 potential you'll probably be called up uh 68 to 88 57 79 71 to 91 67 to 91 goalkeeper okay interesting we're getting we're getting some good people come through here yeah i'm gonna look through that in a minute, I'll call some of them up for sure. And our youth squad monthly report. So, 75 to 89, 60 overall rated. <sighs> CM, CDM, Cam, Lombardi, CM, CDM, 49 overall, but good potential. Mazza, I think you're not probably going to... Oh, you are a left back, though. You are a left-footed left back at 51 overall, a youngster. That could be very useful. But you can't defend. 25 defending, that is dreadful. Um, Anderson is a 48 overall, 74, 82, 48 overall, Lombardi, 72, 80 potential, and 44 overall, 64, 80. Yeah, let me know. I, I know you've left some comments on there as well, but let me know again what to do with them. But uh, yeah, we'll leave it there. So subscribe, like the video, do it for rude, not for me. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back with the next one shortly, and uh, let's see if we can push for that promotion spot or playoff spot at least. For now, I'm out. Cheers.